I will be to 11.25. I need to just get it done. All right. Uh, newsroom production. Guys, practically what we actually have done for the last, let's say, couple weeks is this. Okay? Probably not in the entire content of over of that, but we actually uh, been covering um, quite a lot of what actually a newsroom is. So um, this is the objectives of it. Recognize a different story type broadcast during a newscast. And that is something very important that we are actually gonna talk. I explain the elements of what actually a package is. Uh, identify the various abbreviations used in newscast script. Um, we might probably not get much on this. Uh, we're going to recall the workflow and responsibilities in bold in a typical day in a newsroom. Okay, uh, and explain the differences between the many different type of news stories. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, broadcast journalism class includes career training classes, video production, broadcast journalism, and perhaps the students often create news programs. So, um, as you probably been following, uh, Good Morning Lobos, okay, is practically a, a, news, uh, a newscast um, program, okay? And what, a, what actually journalist, journalist is, I'm right here, it says journalism. A journalist is someone who gathers information to pass on. For example, I will, I will just go and find a news story. I will report it, either audio or video. I will have it in as many platforms possible that I can from... Uh, from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Vimeo, and I probably the list go, goes on and on. Okay, so that is how is it that uh, Prime Directive is report news truthfully so important. That is, and I believe I don't really have to repeat this here, right? Because that is part of the ethics that you're going to report a news story truthfully. Oops. Oh, wow, for so many reasons, but I can tell you one is, in order to get some popularity, and now we're talking about ratings. Everything is about ratings. And if, if my station has ratings for a certain program, guess what, I want to attract uh, businesses to buy commercial time on my show. Journalists will lie because they want to just attract the attention and, and, and that is very unethical. Sooner or later, they're going to be caught. They're going to be caught and they will be actually banned. And now, guys, the internet is so easy to just go in and go out. Perhaps journalists, you know, that they probably will, uh, were working in very important networks like CNN, NBC, CBS, and that, kind of, that kind of network. If a reporter, if a reporter misses to follow those ethics, oh, they're gonna be they're gonna be just fire, right? You gone, you gone, unless, unless it's any political situations. Oh, buddy. So, anyway, they lie. They are not all completely nice and, you know, truthful in their stories. So we need to be very careful, uh, you know. And guys, it's so important, and I believe I mentioned this, okay? When, when, you, uh, when you are feeding yourself, because it's important, don't, don't, don't just rely right here. I, I want to tell you this. You are in an early stage. Do not rely only on your social media feed. What do you follow for news if you care for news? What you will follow? Nothing. What? Nothing? TikTok. TikTok. Huh? TikTok. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna. Oh. Please don't do that. 
Okay, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's okay if you get it from TikTok. But don't stick to, don't stick to TikTok itself. Go and find if they're real true when you actually uh, go to another source. Check if that's true. Okay? Check it out. Maybe, you know, I know Google going to tell you a three zillions of things about a story. But don't enclose yourself in one single source. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok is, <laughs> is invasive. It's very invasive. Oh, my gosh. Because finding news stories from TikTok, yes. So if you feed yourself, you know, news stories, almost in anything that could be trending for whatever reason on the web and it ends TikTok, you don't rely on that itself. All right, so um, we want to uh, stop this. Type of stories, reader, B-O, B-O-S-O-T, S-O-T, soundbite, package. Oh, gosh, what is that? Oh, by the way, it's not part of the salad. No, but ding down. Reader, because they're obviously reading. B-O is a boys over. B-O-S-O-T is boys over, sound over tape. I know, tape. Who actually has a tape? No one does. But when they brought a story and, uh, and they are presenting the news from the desk and they run a story from a computer file, okay, they are still going to call that S-O-T, okay? Uh, audio, that is going to be audio only. Know the whole story, but only audio over that story. Uh, sound um, over tape, sound bite. Sound bite is just a tiny or, or small complement of a story, okay? It's just a glimpse of what the new story would be. Package is not the one that I received from Amazon, no. But package is the entire story. For example, I can tell, um, uh, let's say, I can tell a pair of students here, go and build a package about um, how uh, the water consumption in Texas. Okay, and that is, you will go and find and build this package as, you know, how is it that we consume water? And you will build it with graphics, statistics, perhaps interviews, etc. Okay, and then you bring me the entire package already, edit it, ready to just play back and be on air or perhaps be uh, a stream. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, reader script. Someone is reading from the teleprompter. Um, Probably next school year, I really want to implement a, a teleprompting reading uh, for, uh, for you to read the stories of a, a screen, okay? Uh, B-O, okay, is boys over a script. And we have a script right here. And we're gonna script that. Boys over, sound, uh, so sound over tape. Package. And this is the stories about shot and edited prior to newscast. It's going to be one and a half to two minutes long, approximately. Or extended package can go up to four minutes. Okay? That, obviously, a documentary package is almost six to ten minutes. That, all these numbers right here will depend, will uh, actually will depend on the television station, you know, time allotted on it. Uh, but... Uh, soft news package, these are called feature package, or feature covers soft news current events, human interest stories, personality features. That soft are not emergency. Those are not uh, things that will uh, to cause any. First of all, I hope newscasts are not here to cause as fear uh, or to just feel afraid. Okay, but some news really causes to just, oh gosh, what happened there? 
the stand-up news. Oh, this is the Chasse reporter. Probably you've seen this anyways on TikTok. They report their news stories from on the you know right on the street, uh, and they tell the story right there, right off the gate. I will call on it. Um, this is most likely we're, we'll. Uh, this is stuff that really people like to be on. They call on location stories. Okay, um, honestly. I don't really like when I create a story right on the set, which are kind of nice and look professional. But from time to time, you really want to invite your viewers and to some other places. Perhaps uh, school-wide, we will go, okay, hallways, cafeteria, uh, uh, basketball court and the gym. Uh, I don't know, so many other places that we can actually report our news story. Ethical editing. That is when we have to just edit as actually as the reporter brought our news and we prepared that. All right, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to just stop right here and I will go to my board because I need, I need, ah, all this stuff right by the way is on canvas. You can go and, and put your name right on it. And let me go into a new one. This is important, video editors, look at this, because I'm gonna ask you this um, uh, on my exit ticket. This will be my exit ticket. And, and, okay, let me just punch right here what I need. I think I need this, okay. Editing. Editing is composed on Three things, okay? First of all is, it's gonna be trimming. Trimming. Uh, the other one is cutting. And the last one is called enhancing. And I'm gonna explain every one, uh, but I want you to just Write this down, okay? When you brought your video to your timeline, okay? And you put the video clip on the timeline, okay? I'm gonna put the video right, this is my video clip on my timeline, okay? And, and this is my timeline, da da da, okay? So, um, trimming. The only thing that I'm going to trim is, let's say I go this way, or I grab the end and I come this way. All what I'm going to do is to trim the head and the tail. Knowing that all what you're expecting to see on your video clip is as you really want it to. Look. And uh, technical aspect is top notch. Your video is clear, white balance was great, and your audio is mm, super. So that is that is trimming. Now let's go into another. Now let's move to cutting, and I'm going to just draw my same timeline. And this is my video right here, okay? So, my, my whole clip came all in, my whole uh, scene, my whole scene came in one clip. Let's say um, it was a few things that we didn't stop. We didn't stop or recording. Click, and we start talking, da 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 da, and we fail, we restart. And, and then we fail, we restart, but we didn't actually stop. We just didn't bother to stop or clip for whatever reason. So now we have to go and find where is it that we're going to cut, right? So I need to cut. See? And this piece is trash, and I go again, oh, oops, 
and I go right here, I'm going to do another cut. You see? You see the difference? Now I'm cutting stuff up because it wasn't, a, it wasn't a, as I was expecting. Questions so far? All good? All right. I promise you. I'm almost done. Oh, this is a razor, too. Look. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I, it could take me too long. Oops. Okay, so now, which one is missing? Which is next? Enhancing. Can someone tell me an idea what is it that actually enhancing means? Go ahead. Adding effects. Enhancing. Okay. We're going to add effects, uh, audio or video. Good job. Thank you, uh, Julian. We can add as well um, color grading. What else can we do? Anybody else? What, what, what else can we cover on enhancing? So we go, graphics, music. So from trimming, cutting, and enhancing. And we need to make sure that we, that we do either one to complete our, um, our production. All right, we're done with this part. Thank you. Let's go back to our computer. All right, very quickly in uh, three minutes, and I'm done, three minutes. Now let's move out of the newsroom, okay, to production phases, okay? Production phases are pre-production, production, and post-production. Um, can you tell me what is it that we do in Pre-production. Pre-production? Yes. What is it that actually takes place there? What, takes place in production? what is it that we do? Plan. Planning? One. Good, good, good. Oh, anything else? Uh, that's all I can think of. Okay, good. Boarding. Script is script and boarding and the storyboarding. What do you think? What is it that takes place on, 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 is, uh, on that particular phase? I can even think of one. Okay. What do you think? What do you have in mind? I see you very, very thoughtful. What is it we do in uh, pre-production? Every plan, scripting, and a storyboard. What else? That's, that's part of it. So, <clears throat> Pre-production is, you know, the brainstorming, planning, and, and uh, perhaps beforehand gathering information or data that you might need for your uh, production. So uh, this is the phase where we plan, prepare your ideas, and how you will want your final product to look and sound like. Also, this is the phase that you need to scout the that or, or your location in mind to work your production. Very important in pre-production, that is important, that if we will be recording outside the classroom, okay, you gonna need to say, okay, if I'm going to record at the end of this hallway, for example, I need to go and check before we carry the <laughs> equipment, before anything, you will go, at least two will go and say, okay, uh, do that thing is quiet enough, so and we won't be interrupted with unwanted noises. That will be, do we gonna have a light enough? Do we need to carry some sort of lighting ourselves for that, for that matter? Right on time, I made my pause. So, scouting or location. So let's move to production. Production obviously makes sense. That's when all the action is. Okay, that's when we actually hit record 
and we got all, all our footage put in place. And post-production, post-production. Uh, Chase, what you can tell me about post-production? What is, what is it you can tell me what's actually going to happen on post? Edit. Editing. I cannot even probably think of anything else. Editing. We have to take all stuff to post. Okay? All right. And one thing that I want to say before we go and jump into our post-production stuff, okay? Because many are already on post. Whenever that you go, and listen very well on this one, and please record it right here. Don't write it on paper. It's not a need, but I want you to just keep it right here. Whenever that you are actually recording your, your, your stuff, anything that you are working on it, okay? And something come up on that particular video recording. And, and, and you're going to say, oh, I can fix that in post. Please, don't. Don't, don't just, don't. I don't want to say don't ever say that. It's going to be a time that you probably would uh, or, or could because of timing. Otherwise, please don't say, oh, I will fix that on post. No, you won't. Because if we have an audio that is very noisy and bad, most likely, if we have a very super good and intelligent software, it might fix the problem. But when we go into video situations, okay, and now, uh, if we have a, a white balance situation, there is a possibility that we can fix it in post. But I will, guys, I will say no. Boom. No, no. Don't say I will fix it in post. Questions, suggestions, concerns.